Good morning to the world's best caregivers. I am Carol Howell, your internationally certified dementia practitioner practitioner, and Amazon best-selling author. Glad you've chosen to join me today for Let's Talk Dementia live on Facebook. We're here Monday through Thursday at 8.15 till somewhere around 8.30, depending on how much is on my brain at that time. <laughs> I'd like to thank the three sponsors who help finance our ministry, and that would be Life in the Carolinas, and you can find them at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube, and also HD Imports, Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina, 803-985-0985. Call them for your Honda, Hyundai, Acura, Toyota, and Kia maintenance and repair. And then last, but let me tell you, not least in my world, would be Beth Crosby, editor extraordinaire. And you can find her at EditorBeth.com. You can also find her on the phone with me today at 9 o'clock because we've got some changes to make on the website. That woman, she just keeps editing my website and finding more and more stuff to change. One day, it's going to be perfect. And it's all going to be because of Editor Beth. So give her a call if you've written something. She needs to look at it. I'd like to remind you of our books that you can find on Amazon and on our website. Let's Talk Dementia, Amazon best-selling book. You can find it there on Amazon. My dryer alarm just went off and it's going to keep going off until somebody does something about it. And there's nobody here but me. Oh, well. Reminisce and Worship is our newest book. It's a 90-day devotional geared towards that individual with dementia so they can work through it themselves or the caregiver can sit down and work with them together. You can find them on our website, letstalkdementia.org and directly there at smile.amazon.com and on that little drop-down menu, you're going to choose Senior Life Journeys because then they'll send us a little a little something something at the end of each month for everything that our folks purchase it doesn't cost you anything well as i told you on my eight o'clock commercial today we're going to talk about a cure for dementia and yes there is a cure for dementia this is not a joke i'm not setting you up to tell you oh no there's not a cure for dementia there is there's not a cure for alzheimer's but there is a cure for dementia and that's not news, folks. There's always been a cure for dementia. It just depends on the kind of dementia you have. And you're like, Dad, gone it. I knew there was a catch. And unfortunately, there is. We've got to remember in the last two days on our previous shows, oh my word, that's just going to keep buzzing. Do I want to hop up and go make it stop? I don't know. I might. Um, <laughs> on our previous two shows, we talked about what is dementia, the inability to think clearly that affects the activities of daily living. What is Alzheimer's? A disease of the brain. But I also told you there's over 200 kinds of dementia. Yeah, 200. Well, in those 200, there is this thing called a reversible dementia. Dementias that can be cured. Now, that is why I tell you repeatedly, if your loved one is diagnosed with dementia, you don't automatically go on Aricept or Namenda or Exelon or whatever drug is thrown your way because there are reversible dementias. And you need to know if what your loved one has is reversible or not. If it is reversible, mm -mm -mm. we're going to do the happy dance all over the planet and we're going to reverse it. Yes, yes. We're going to get busy doing whatever it is we need to do to fix that dementia that is reversible. So what are some reasons for some reversible dementias? I thought you'd never ask. The most common reversible dementia in someone who does not have dementia that just woke up with it. Y'all just hold on a minute. I got to go turn that off. Don't you dare leave. It's just right here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh boy. Good gracious, that was noisy. I'm back. I don't know if you could hear it, but I could hear it. And that was annoying that you know what out of me. And you do know what. The most common reversible dementia in someone who has never had dementia. They just wake up and, you know, they're talking to people that aren't there. They're seeing spiders on the wall. They're just really out of it then very likely they have a urinary tract infection, a UTI. Very common form of dementia, especially in senior citizens. Um, if you take an individual who does not have dementia, they wake up with dementia, we find out it's a UTI, we get on an antibiotic, it clears it up, the dementia goes away. We fixed it, right? If they already have dementia, 
and they get a UTI, it just makes the dementia worse. Oh boy, does it make it worse. Another type of reversible dementia is a vitamin B as in boy deficiency. Can absolutely give foggy thinking. You can't process thought. You forget things. Vitamin D as in dog, same thing. It's kind of crazy. That's why we get blood work done what, once a year to make sure those levels in our blood are what they're supposed to be. Vitamin B and vitamin D deficiency in America is very high. There's a lot of us walking around, especially, well, with both of them, with one or the other. So you need to get that checked. Your blood sugar being high or low. Do you check your blood sugar regularly? The first of every month, my husband and I, we prick our finger and check our blood sugar just to make sure we're staying in that target range. Um, we neither one have a problem with our sugar. We want to keep it like that. But a high blood sugar or a low blood sugar can absolutely give dementia. We get the blood sugar balanced out, we've cured dementia, have we not? Yes, we have. Heart disease, something that's wrong with the heart. Maybe it's something we can fix, and then that clears up dementia. Because if we're not getting good blood to the brain, then the brain can't work to its optimum, so we've gotta fix that. Um, being intoxicated, uh-huh, that's dementia, y'all. You can't function in society when you is drunk, so don't get drunk. <laughs> high on drugs, um, side effects from legal drugs, side effects from illegal drugs. We get it out of the system, dementia goes away. There are a lot of reasons for a dementia that can be cured. Those are just a few. There are so many. So you need to know when the doctor says, okay, here you, you know, you couldn't count backwards from 100 by sevens, which P.S. I ain't so good at myself. And when I ask you to put the time 740 on this piece of paper, you drew a clock and you had to put the hands in to make it 740. You got the long hand and the short hand reversed, which again, is not my forte. You've got dementia. Well, we don't wanna just go by that short little test. It's called the mini mental status exam, MMSE. It's a waste of time is what it is. Um, we want to dig a little deeper and find out what's going on. Talked to a lady yesterday whose mom went to a, a, a neurologist that I'm aware of. I don't really like him. Oh no, I don't. I can tell you someone in my family went to see this neurologist for the head. He walked in, he introduced himself. He didn't shake his hand, their hand. He didn't say, how are you? He goes, my name is Dr. So-and-so. I'm a neurologist, not a urologist. So if you're looking for that other part of your body, you're in the wrong place. What? Who greets a client, a patient like that? Well, he did. So she was going back, taking her mom back, I think on Monday for a follow-up for tests that he had run on her, which kudos to him, he did run the proper test to see what was going on with mom. But he had called and said, we ran the test and mom has dementia. Well, duh, huh? we probably knew that before we took her to the doctor. You ran the test to find out what kind of dementia. So she's gonna go back Monday just to see what she can learn from him. And I have a feeling she is not going back to him again. Uh, so if you're not getting the kind of answers that you need then just find another doctor, would you? And what you need is a good neurologist, not your family doctor, most likely. Family doctor's probably gonna refer you to a good neurologist. So dementia is curable, and no, I wasn't messing with you. It is the truth, but unfortunately, while I'm telling you that dementia is curable, it is only for those reversible dementias. In our world, though, what we see predominantly are irreversible dementias, such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Lewy body disease, Huntington's, um, mad cow disease. People think mad cow disease is also very, very rare. I know two people whose mother passed away from mad cow disease, two, in my little world. You know, it's not, I mean, it is rare, especially compared to Alzheimer's, but it does happen. Um, so there are a lot of reasons for irreversible dementia. Unfortunately, in my world, that's what my sweet mama, Vera Jean, was diagnosed with in August of 2006 was um, Alzheimer's type dementia. She passed away two months ago yesterday, and I miss that woman. Oh, yes, I do. And I'll tell you something else that can cause cloudy thinking. If, if we want to refer to dementia in its very mildest forms as cloudy thinking, then grief can do that to you. There is a fog that comes over you with grief. And um, boy, have I experienced that lately. 
the grief from losing someone who means so much to you can bring about cloudy thinking. And you want to think straight, but you can't. And when that comes, my friend Linda said, Carol, what you got to do is let it come and let it wash over you and let it leave. And I've thought about that several days when, or several times, just like a few seconds ago, when it hit me, I could allow myself to bury inside of that, or I can let it come and let it leave and go on with life. Cause you know, that's what I'm supposed to do. And I know that's what my mama would want me to do. Yes, I do. So that cloudy thinking can cause, I mean, that grief can cause cloudy thinking. Being stressed out can do that. Depression can do that. Anxiety can do that. And so many of those things can be corrected. So if you're experiencing some of these symptoms in yourself, don't freak out and think, oh my gosh, I've got Alzheimer's. It could be you're depressed. It could be you need to see the doctor and find out what you can do if there's a medication that will help you for your depression. Or maybe you've got some stress in your life. Or maybe you just need to get out and move. Because I'm telling you, on the days that I don't get up and start my day walking or shortly thereafter get out for some movement, mm -hmm, I'm just feeling a little down. And when I'm feeling down, I don't think as clearly. So dementia is curable. It just depends on why you have dementia, which goes back to what I say over and over and over again. Find out what kind of dementia you have or your loved one has because we want to medicate you, if it's possible, for the right reasons or we want to send you to get the help you need for the right reasons, not for the wrong ones, okay? Amen. I'm glad you've joined me today. I hope that helped you think about things maybe a little different in your caregiving journey. Thank you to our sponsors, Editor Beth at EditorBeth.com, Life in the Carolinas at www.LifeInTheCarolinas.com, and HD Imports at 803-985-0985, Honda, Hyundai, Acura, Toyota, and Kia, Maintenance and Repair. Please tell all these folks that Carol sent you if you talk to them. You'll be glad you did. Well, Monday's coming. You know, I take Fridays off. Oh, Oh, yay. I'm supposed to sleep late, but you know, that never happens. Besides, if I sleep too late, it gets too hot to go walking. But Monday's coming. I will see you then. I don't know what we're talking about. My book's right here, but I haven't looked it up yet. You have a good weekend. Tell your LO that Carol said hi. And if you have questions and you wonder what that Southern sounding woman wants to say or has to say about your issue, then email me. I am so happy to hear from you folks. And I've been getting a lot of emails lately. 803 no, that's my phone number. My email is carol, <laughs> carol at let's talk dementia dot org. And if you need me to call you, just include your phone number and I will call you back. Absolutely. No charge for this time together. Have a good weekend. Bye y'all.